18 and 19. Well, when you say it, it doesn't sound like much, but when you're sitting there with 19 Hershey's Kisses in front of you, that's a lot of chocolate. Barbara? Six. Very good. I'm the youngest one here. I can't tell them I've had sex with four men. They'll think I'm a slut. It does not matter what they think. You have a forgiving God and a tough but fair aunt. Luann? Four. Four? Peggy? One. My husband. Well, good for you. Ladies, this is a model for us all. Oh, no, please, I'm not. I'm... Oh, yes, you are. You are an inspiration, a holy beacon. We may not all be able to match your rectitude, but God has truly prepared a special place for you. Two. I'm sorry? I would like one more chocolate, please. Are you hungry, hun? No. I slept with another man before I met my husband. And two. Luann, it was my very best male friend, Wayne Trotter. People always thought we were going steady, but there there never been anything romantic between us until one day we were at Pier 1. He sat me down in a wicker chair and took my hand. He had beautiful hands. And he said to me, Peggy, I think I might be gay. And this was back when being gay in Texas was not as fun as it is today. We decided that the only way to know for sure was to test him with Peggy Platter. So we went back to Wayne's house, gently pushed aside his decorative throw pillows, and then, oh, yeah. Did you fix him? Oh, no, Luann. He was not broken. Just gay. Very, very gay. Are you ladies decent? Hey, you guys got chocolate? Boy, am I jealous. <laughs> okay, everyone who hasn't had premarital sex gets ice cream. Oh, dear God. Well, I wouldn't tell him. Oh, I just feel so terrible. I cannot sleep. I cannot eat. I have already lost a pound. You look wonderful, Shug. I agree. Normally, I would say so with a lot more enthusiasm, but I am under a lot of stress. 